In the Glass Castle, a book review. What did I just read? This was a book about a family of dysfunctional extraordinaire. This memoir is a must read. Four kids growing up in an oddly loving family raised by these two crazy genius parents who love these kids but are responsibility averse and don't really believe in parenting their children. This is pretty much a gist of the plot. Um, I'm so aghast by some of the incidents that these children go through and how they emerge at the other end as well-rounded, educated and amazing beings. So I'm just going to also read the Goodreads plot summary. The memoir is about Janet Walls, who's the author. And Janet Walls grew up with parents whose ideals and stubborn non-conformity were both their curse and their salvation. Rex and Rosemary Walls had four children. In the beginning, they lived like nomads, moving among southwest desert towns, camping in the mountains. Rex was a charismatic, brilliant man who, when sober, captured his children's imagination, teaching them physics, geology, and above all, how to embrace life fearlessly. Rosemary, who painted and wrote and couldn't stand the responsibility of providing for her family, called herself an excitement addict. Cooking a meal that would be consumed in 15 minutes had no appeal when she could make a painting that might last forever. Later, when the money ran out or the romance of the wandering life faded, the walls retreated to the dismal West Virginia mining town and the family. Rex Walls had done everything he could to escape. He drank, he stole the grocery money and disappeared for days. As the dysfunction of the family escalated, Jeanette and her brother and sisters had to fend for themselves, supporting one another as they weathered their parents' betrayals and finally found the resources and will to leave home. What is so astonishing about Jeanette Walls is not just that she had the guts and the tenacity and the intelligence to get out, but that she describes her parents with such deep affection and generosity. Hers is a story of triumph against all odds, but also a tender moving tale of unconditional love in a family that despite its profound flaws gave her the fiery determination to carve out a successful life on her own terms. For two decades, Jeanette Walls hid her roots. Now she tells her own story. So I loved the book. I would s- go on to say that it was my favorite non-fiction read from 2022. Kudos to the author. Listeners, definitely pick this one up.